Hello. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, to those of you that are able to join live and hi to those um, that are watching on replay. I um, hope you're well um, and thank you for watching and joining. Um, just to yeah, introduce myself. So my name is Becky. I am a speech and language therapist specialist in stammering and I'm also a certified mindset coach. Um, and today's training will probably take about half an hour. We'll see how we get on. Um, do drop any questions in the chat. Um, anybody that's watching on replay, you can always contact me. Um, you can find me at www.unlock-u.co.uk um, and my email is becky at unlock-u.co.uk. So yeah, do get in touch. I'd love to hear from you and see how things are going and if there's any areas I can help with. Um, but otherwise we will get started with the training for today. Um, so today is some free um, training on ways to improve your mindset around stammering and a bit about why that's important. And we will also go into, um, yes, some kind of tips and advice. And if you want to go any deeper, further with any of that, um, there are some opportunities to work together if that's something that you're looking for or interested in at the moment. Um, I'm just going to share my screen so we can go through a bit of a presentation. Just getting that set up. Hopefully the presentation will pop up on your screen in just a minute. Okay, so hopefully you're all able to see that. Um, so as I said, yeah, my name is Becky. That's kind of our introductions done. So my goal for the training today, so my goal really is to empower you to understand a bit more about mindset and how mindset and stammering in particular are connected and really to give you some tips and things that you can take away to try from today um, to help improve your freedom with talking and your confidence with talking. That's kind of our, the big areas that we're working on. So who is this for? So this is for you. If you want to enjoy talking, you want to feel confident talking and you want to do anything, do the things that you want to do. Um, if you want to let go of worrying, if you want to let go of thinking about stammering too much and letting it control your thoughts and how you're feeling and how you're acting. So if any of those sound true for you, then you're in the right place. Um, and instead of doing all of those things, worrying, um, letting things kind of fears get in the way, what we want to do is understand a bit more about mind, mindset. Um, and if you go kind of deeper into this, we want to really get clarity on your goals, um, the kind of subconscious programming. So that deeper part of the mind and really let go of those doubts and fears and beliefs and things that have come up in the past that are no longer serving you. Um, that's really my goal for um, the clients that I work with. And we do that with, through a lot of mindset work. So the, again, this you're in the right place. If this sounds like you, you're tired of trying to change your speech or control your speech or avert, avoid certain people, um, avoid certain situations, saying no to things that you actually want to do. Um, and even when you're doing those things, you're still not feeling good or you're not enjoying talking and you're really looking for a better way to feel confident and express yourself. So again, if any of these come up for you, just drop them in the chat um, or if you're at home, just think about if this sounds like you or anything that you might have done in the past. So sometimes the clients that I work with they really want to avoid stammering that's kind of one of their big goals so in order to avoid stammering 
they might have changed some words um, or said something different than they actually wanted. I recently had a client that I was working with and he um, wanted to order an ice cream and he ordered a different type of ice cream than the one that he actually wanted because he he was scared of kind of saying certain words. So that's really getting in the way of him actually getting what he wanted. Um, so that can be quite distracting when you try and do that and it can also leave you frustrated. Um, it might also be that you avoided certain situations or people, so you've said no to events, to parties, to jobs even, um, anything, and you've missed kind of connecting with people that you actually wanted to connect with um, and activities that you yeah, normally would enjoy. So again, that can leave you feeling frustrated and like you're missing out on something. And the next kind of area is about speech techniques. So this is for you. If you have tried the speech techniques, you've done all the different things, tried it all in the past, but it hasn't worked for you. So again, that's, that is for you. If it's, um, you've done all of these things, but it's a bit exhausting, a bit tiring, um, and yeah, just hasn't, hasn't given you the results that you're looking for. We'll just, I think that's just stopped sharing. Let's see uh, if we can get it back up. Can you see that all okay? Yeah, okay, brilliant. Okay, so we're back. Um, so yeah, you've tried the speech techniques. It hasn't worked out the way that you had hoped. So my question for you is, what if you could really stop worrying about stammering and letting it control how you're thinking and how you're feeling and how you're acting and really focus on reprogramming your subconscious mind? We're gonna go into why that's important in a minute. Um, so that at the end of it, you can really speak with the freedom and the confidence that you want to. Um, if that sounds like it might be too good to be true, I'm going to show you how we actually do that, um, kind of go through it a little bit briefly today. But if there's any questions, again, just get in touch. Um, so I, I've been working with... Um, young people and uh, people who stammer for a number of years now. And uh, now my clients can really experience lots of freedom from the worry about stammering. And they have had amazing results where they feel so much more confident and happy. Um, and even if stammering is still there sometimes or occasionally, they actually are doing the things that they want to do and they're feeling good. and they're sometimes not even thinking about it at all. So that's a really good outcome. Uh, there's just some feedback there from some of my kind of younger um, people that I've worked with, some of my teenagers. So this really is for, I would say, teenagers or adults. Oh, we've missed one. Um, so just a little bit of background about kind of how I've developed this approach, because this is um, kind of after a number of years at working in speech therapy, where I was really trying to do the best for my clients and find um, kind of solutions to any difficulties that they were facing. But actually, um, the kind of approaches out there in terms of speech therapy were quite limited and weren't always as effective as I wanted them to be, which is kind of one of the reasons that I've got into more of the mindset coaching to um, really break through some of those things. So yeah, sometimes uh, we'd work on things in sessions and the results, um, they sometimes worked within the therapy sessions, but then didn't really seem to last or they'd go from being helpful to being quite a burden. Um, and yeah, really kind of struggling to find the answer and to help um, people kind of in a quick, relatively quick way, because sometimes uh, my clients seem to be on the caseload for years or even months. And it just seemed to be that they weren't really getting the help that they needed or deserved. 
So that's what I really was um, aiming to change with my kind of new approach. So, um, yeah, I was trying lots of different things, seeing what would work, doing all the reading, all the kind of evidence around it, um, trying to work on building confidence, although kind of things were getting in the way still. So I was really looking for a better way. And then I, I did become certified as a mindset coach. So I am certified in lots, lots of mindset tools, um, such as clinical hypnosis, um, EFT, emotional freedom technique, um, NLP, so neuro-linguistic programming, lots of those things that can be really, really helpful um, to get to the root of what's going on and to make kind of real shifts. Um, so seeing bigger transformations and changes. So when I um, completed my training, I really started to understand that previously I'd only really worked on the kind of conscious mind, the rational mind of thinking and trying to make changes through that. But actually, I hadn't really focused on the subconscious mind, which is 95% of the power of our mind. So um, once I kind of focused on that and developed my new approach to it, really, I started to see the results come in that I'd wanted. So the clients were becoming clear on their goals and where they wanted to get to. Um, they started to really change how they were thinking and feeling and acting. And the worry and things that were holding them back really seemed to go. So they started to really transform, which was amazing to see. And the results, the best thing is kind of the results are quicker now. So going from taking months or even years to make progress in terms of speech therapy, now using some of the mindset tools, you can really do that and speed up that process within even kind of three months, 12 weeks. So a little bit, how does it work? All of this about mindset and stammering. Um, so just to start us off with an, a bit of an example. So thinking about how is stammering and mindset connected? Um, so just to think of a different example to start with. So we're gonna think of an example of another type of kind of discomfort, we'll call it. Um, and the discomfort is somebody who is overweight. So if we think about that, that's a kind of common discomfort out there, somebody's overweight. And the typical solution, if you ask people, if you look online, people will say that you need to change what you're eating, you need to go on the diet, you need to count calories, do all of these things, change what, what you're eating. That's kind of a typical approach. However, if we really think about that, it's thinking how effective is that because I'm sure some of you might have experienced this or you know people who have where they've tried all the diets and sometimes they get some results and then sometimes they fall back and put the weight back on or they yo-yo go up and down or they try the diets it doesn't work there's so much information out there they're not sure what diet to do so actually they get a bit overwhelmed and a bit stuck um and sometimes go back to where they started or sometimes even put on more weight. So it doesn't seem like diet is actually getting to the root of the problem. So the advice to just change the diet is kind of just scraping the surface because actually people already know that they might need to change their diet, but there's something deeper going on that's kind of caused them to be overweight in the first place. So if we think about that with stammering, so this isn't to say that um, anybody who stammers is kind of causing stammering. It's, there's no blame. There's nothing like that. But we're thinking about what can we take control of? How can we kind of empower ourselves? So if there's somebody with a discomfort of, let's say, not being able to speak fluently, um, not being able to say what they want, the typical solution out there in terms of speech therapy and things that you might read is, to do kind of a te speech technique change their talking. So it's asking them to do something different, uh, use a technique and yeah, make that change. That's kind of a physical thing. But again, if we think of how effective is that? So having done that with lots of my clients in the past, I didn't find that using speech techniques was actually as helpful as people think it might be. 
um, because it can actually get in the way. They're not always working. You know, sometimes they're quite difficult. Um, so it, again, was kind of just scraping the surface, but not really making that deeper change. So just another kind of example, so we can really start to see how stammering and mindset are connected. So kind of like I've said, to really get to the, to make that real change, we want to get to the root of what's going on and not just scrape the surface. So again, we can think of another example of um, football, World Cup. Um, so when um, the footballers have to do a penalty shootout, um, which seems to happen quite a lot, and they choose the best players to do the penalty shootout, but they miss. So sometimes they miss the goal entirely or shots that they normally can do, they, yeah, they miss. So if we think about that for a second of where's the difficulty there? So would we say that's a physical difficulty with the footballer physically not able to kind of score the goals or is there anything going on kind of mindset wise with how they're dealing with the pressure, the worry, the fear of being in that World Cup final that could be getting in the way? So it's really thinking what's where's that difficulty? Because, again, this can be a little bit like how we think about stammering. Um, where where does that difficulty lie? So just to continue with that example, um, if we think about when you're at home, when you're by yourself, when you're maybe with a pet, you're playing a game, something where you're relaxed, um, or sometimes you say something, you know, without even thinking about it, it just seems to come out. Have you ever talked fluently? So just take a couple of seconds to think back, reflect on that. Have you ever been able to talk fluently? So I'm guessing for most of you, the answer is yes, you have been able to talk fluently. There are times where you can talk fluently, but for whatever reason, things change when, um, when maybe you're in a different environment, you're with different people, something seems to change. So, Really, we want to ask, why is it different when there are other people? What change is there? So if you're able to say something when you're maybe at home, feeling relaxed by yourself, why is it that when you're in a group or you're at an interview or you're in a pressure situation, something changes? So we really want to kind of unpick that a bit more so that we can get to the root of what's going on and again, Stammering can be kind of a complex area and this can just be one thing that can make that difference. So it's not putting any blame again on anybody that's stammering. It's just thinking how can we, what areas can we take control of? And mindset is one that we can really start to change. So the advice for this one, so we kind of have this understanding that stammering and mindset are really connected. What I want you to do at home, the kind of homework for this is to see how it goes when you talk to yourself. If it's not something that you've tried a lot, see how it goes when you read something um, and you don't need to think about it too much. Maybe when you're going for a walk, or walking a dog, something like that, and just say something and see how it goes. And what you want to do is really start to tune into this version of you that can talk easily and effortlessly and see what's going on with how you're thinking and feeling in the moment when that happens. So if you're at home and you're reading something to yourself, what are you thinking about? Is it that you're just thinking about what you're reading? Um, how are you feeling? So what kind of emotions would you describe? Are you feeling calm, are you feeling relaxed? Anything like that. And once we kind of understand how you're feeling in those moments where things do seem to come easy, then it's trying to bring those feelings and those thoughts into other times to help you when you're in a different situation and maybe it is a bit more stressful or under pressure, then you can kind of use those 
those thoughts and feelings that you have at other times to bring that in and see if that can make it a bit easier for you. So give that one a bit of a go at home. So we're just going to think about kind of thoughts and how your thoughts can change what happens. So sometimes people think, oh, I don't really have any control over any of this. It just seems to happen. But actually, um, this comes from CBT, so cognitive behavior therapy, and it's showing how our thoughts and our emotions, what happens in our body and how we actually react, what we do, how we behave is all really connected. So if we start at the top, just thinking if this has ever happened to you, have you ever got stuck in this kind of cycle before? So the thought that you might have is, I'll stutter, people will, will look at me, people think I'm strange. Maybe there's different thoughts that pop up for you. But just notice what the thoughts are around. If you were in a talking situation that normally you would find a bit uncomfortable you, or would worry you a bit, what are the kind of thoughts that pop up there? And then it's seeing kind of what are the emotions. So once we get those thoughts, that's going to have a knock on impact on how you're feeling. So if you get that thought of I'll stutter, the emotion there that comes with it is feeling anxious, feeling embarrassed, feeling scared. And actually those emotions then lead to our body feeling a certain way. So physiological changes. So you might start to feel hot, shaky, butterflies in your stomach, heart racing, whatever it is for you. And because you have this change in emotions and how your body reacts, actually how you behave is going to change as well. So you might start to think like, oh, I'm going to avoid the word or I'm going to look down. I'm going to look away. I'm going to try and get through it really quick and speak fast. I'm going to change what I'm saying or I'm going to say less. Um, so you're trying to do something there with your behavior to really get you out of this cycle. But actually that doesn't always work and you can get a bit stuck so you see all the arrows going in different directions you can get stuck in this cycle where you go round and round and every time you're in a similar situation the same kind of things keep popping up so what we want to really ask is if you could change that thought that's the typically the first thing that happens if you could change that thought instead of I'll stutter and people will look at me if you could change that to something else like I'll give it a go or I enjoy talking how could that whole cycle and your whole experience change just from changing that thought because actually that can have quite a big impact just from changing that thought and being aware so the first step really there is to start to be more aware so there's probably some thoughts for you that have been popping up quite regularly, things that maybe you keep thinking on repeat about stuttering, about talking, um, any worries, anything like that. So what I want you to do as kind of a bit of homework again is to really start to notice those thoughts and even you can write them down if you'd like to. Because noticing that kind of awareness, that's the first step. And once you start to notice those thoughts, those thoughts there that's going to give you a bit of a clue into what do you believe so our thoughts come from our kind of deeper beliefs so somebody that thinks um people will think i'm strange for stuttering might have a deeper belief of stuttering is wrong or stuttering is strange or i'm strange because i stutter so that's kind of a deeper deeper belief there so start to really tune into those thoughts so that you can get into those beliefs as well. So again, what we really want to do is to get the real results, to really get the changes that you're hoping for, that you wanted and maybe haven't achieved in the past. So again, coming back to some of the other examples that were used, the kind of approaches out there quite often are treating the stutter as just a physical issue. And we use our conscious mind for that. So if we treat it as a physical issue and say, or oh, you need to take a breath or you need to slow down or you need to soft onset or use a technique, that's all using our conscious mind. 
So you have to actively do those things. And that can take a bit of willpower and it can take quite a lot of control and awareness. Um, but it doesn't, that approach doesn't deal with any of the deeper beliefs so that anything in that subconscious mind. So as you can see from this iceberg, um, stuttering is just the bit at the top above the water, but actually for people who stutter, there's quite a lot going on under the surface and this will be different for everyone, but there can be lots and lots of feelings, lots of worries, um, lots of past events that have, will make you worry if, I don't know, you went for an interview once and couldn't say your name. The next time you go for an interview, that can trigger the same sort of thoughts and feelings based on those past events. So unless we clear all of this kind of under the water, it's very difficult to kind of just chip away at the top just at the physical kind of symptoms of stuttering. But actually, if we start to kind of chip away at the bottom, what you tend to see is we kind of chip away at all of that and that kind of floats down and it even goes under the surface. So we're not directly working on the stuttering kind of using physical strategies, but actually by doing these things under the surface, that can have a knock on impact. Um, so, that's really what we, that's kind of the approach that we work on. So what I kind of want you to do is have a think about what you've done in the past. How has it worked out? What areas have you been focusing on? Have you focused before on kind of these subconscious things or have you been a bit more focused on kind of physically um, speech strategies and things that you can be doing? And have a think about, have, has that approach given you the result that you wanted? And how could kind of your subconscious be getting in the way, your subconscious beliefs and things that have come up in the past? Is there anything for you that you think might be getting in the way? Because again, awareness is a really good first step for this. So we've gone through a few tips. Um, so it's just a brief training today, obviously, um, but those are things that you can try at home. So it gives you that idea and hopefully a bit more understanding of kind of the power of the subconscious and how it's all connected. Um, so if you're questioning, can this really work for you? Is this kind of gonna get you the result? So, for some of you, just kind of the free training, that's enough for you to start with. But for those of you that are really looking to go deep into it, ready to make a change, really want to get the results um, that they're after, I am just launching a new course. So it's an online course. Um, it's called Unlock You, Speech, Confidence and Freedom. So a lot of the ideas in the course are based on things that we kind of have discussed briefly today, but going into lots and lots more detail and it's all personalized um, because everybody who stammers is different. So this course is a mindset re re reprogramming course. Um, so it's specifically for people who stammer and the outcome is the kind of goal is that you feel confident and you are able to express yourself freely and it's a three month course. So it's within that time frame you want to um, do those things and it's not about controlling your speech. So it's not about those speech strategies and techniques. It's using more of the mindset approach. So this is launching soon. So if this is something that sounds like you, sounds like it could be of interest, it is launching at the end of next week. So it is um, three months. So the first month um, is really getting the, setting the stage, the foundation, so it's um, starting the online modules. So there's lots of lessons, workbooks. Um, and then as the course goes on, the following two months, it is um, some sessions with me. So there's four um, 60 minute sessions included. And again, those are personalized to go through your goals and anything holding you back. So it can really kind of release anything that you need to move forward and get those results that you want. So just a little bit about that program. So um, the online course, it is four um, simple steps, four phases. 
So the first phase is really going into more detail about the mind and stammering, um, because that's kind of key to getting the results that we want. So really, really going into that, understanding that more. Um, phase two is about where do you want to get to and who would you be when you get there? So it's getting clear on the goals. So again, that's very personalized of anything that you want. It doesn't even need to be kind of directly linked to talking. It might be something that you really want to do in another area of your life and thinking about who do you want to be at the end of this program? What kind of result do you want? So spending the time to get clear on that. Um, phase three, so that one is about really letting go. So this phase is spending the time to really break through the block. So it's figuring out what do you need to let go of and what do you need to work through to get to your goals? So that normally is letting go of kind of fears, doubts, worries, things that have come up in the past, really letting all of that go so that you can then move forward. And the final phase, so phase four is about really rewiring. So that's probably a term that you've heard a bit, but rewiring your subconscious mind so that you can become that best version of yourself. You can achieve the goals that you want. So there's lots of techniques um, that you go into in that phase force that can help you um, to start that rewiring process and really move forward. So that at the end of it, you really become the real confident free you because lots of clients that I've worked with have said that it doesn't feel like them, the way that they're talking at the moment, the way they're doing things, doesn't feel like the real them, which is a really hard place to be. And that's what we want to break through so that it is you. So it's kind of the best version of you. So but just a little bit more about what the different phases include. So all of this is on an online um, training kind of platform where you log on, you get to watch the different video tutorials, um, lessons. So there's lots of different kind of content on there. Um, there's also workbooks. So there's lots of homework and things that you can be doing. Um, sometimes it's questions and things to reflect on. And other times it's kind of activities for you to complete. Um, there's also action steps, things that I want you to be doing just to be kind of moving forward and making that progress. And the good thing about this course is um, the sessions are one-to-one, -one, but it is a group course. So there'll be other people that you can connect with, share your goals, share how things are going. Um, and yeah, it's personalized kind of for you as well. So you're kind of getting the best of both. So that's phase one. Phase two is like we kind of said, that goal, getting clear on your goal identity, um, goal setting. This really goes into the subconscious. Um, so this is thinking about what your beliefs are, what your values are, who you identify as. So shifting those things makes a massive, massive change. So we're not working on just kind of doing this technique. You're actually working on making these big shifts. So this can have knock on impacts in other areas of your life. Um, and again, there's lots of lessons, videos, um, there's kind of visualizations, meditations, um, things that you can download um, and keeping you accountable along the way. So phase three, again, this is kind of the spending the time to really break through. So let go of anything that's holding you back, a lot of beliefs, a lot of mindset tools. So we kind of mentioned clinical hypnosis, EFT, NLP, um, meditations, visualizations. So really getting into that and um, letting that go. And finally, phase four. So this is really the rewiring. So this is where things like using affirmations, really embedding new beliefs come in, ways for you to apply this at home and to really keep that progress going. Um, so that is kind of phase four. So if this sounds like you, you can apply. I will send out the link to anybody that's kind of come to this training or watching on replay. Um, you can see all the details for um, payments. Um, and yeah, there's lots and lots of value in this course. So it's if this sounds like you, 
um, this is the launch price and the lowest it will ever be. So now is a great time to get in and really get that support. So I'll send you all of this to have a look through. But yeah, clients have had amazing results. So this is just the online version of my kind of one-to-ones with my clients. Um, so you can also have a look at some of that feedback and really think about where you want to be in three months. If you really want to make that change, now's the time to apply and to get that support. And I would love to support you on that journey. So thank you everyone for joining and um, yeah, wishing you all the best. Do get in touch any questions um, and yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day as well.